The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Texas, Ms. Garcia, for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. <clears throat> Madam Speaker, House Democrats are putting people over politics by lowering health care costs and creating better paying jobs. We are cutting costs for health care coverage, capping insulin at $35 for Medicare patients, and giving Medicare the power to negotiate lower drug prices. We expanded the Affordable Care Act program, which will lower premiums for over 13 million Americans. Just in my district alone, 62,000 seniors with Medicare will pay less for prescription drug prices. 29,000 people in my district will have access to affordable health care coverage due to lowered premiums under the Inflation Reduction Act. Meanwhile, some extreme mega Republicans are threatening to cut Social Security and Medicare. House Democrats will and will and always will protect seniors from Medicare cuts or Social Security cuts because we put seniors over politics. In fact, House Democrats increased benefits by 8.7 percent last year to ensure a dignified retirement for Americans who worked hard for these vital benefits. Let me repeat that, worked hard for these vital benefits. This increase helped more than 80,000 people in my district who are on Social Security. That's more than 10% of my constituents. These are retired workers, disabled workers, widows and children who need these critical funds to survive. They've earned them, they paid into them. Social Security and, America and Medicaid or Medicare are a lifeline for our seniors and especially those in my district. We will always defend these programs and we will always put seniors over politics. We will never cut Medicare. We will never cut Social Security. We will fight for our working families till the end. Madam Speaker, House Democrats are creating good paying jobs for all our American families. Democrats have created a record 12 million jobs since President Biden took office, and we aren't stopping there. Let me repeat that, 12 million and we're not stopping there. That's almost as many jobs in two years as any president has created in a four-year term. House Republicans are trying to undermine all this through, through bad, 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 bad lies and made-up stuff suggesting that President Biden has hurt our economy. He has not. The cost of everything that Republicans would do would be 30 percent while giving the wealthiest Americans cuts on their taxes. This is outrageous and just plain wrong. While extreme mega Republicans hand out tax breaks to the wealthy, Democrats have focused on lowering everyday Americans' costs. We will continue to fight for working families. I'm not willing to use politics over people. I will always put people over politics. And always, always people first. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield back. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Michigan, Ms. Talib, for five minutes. Mr.